name is Russ Milheim from the Direct. It's great to meet you guys. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Uh, thank you for talking with me about Sugar. Uh, I've seen all the episodes. I really enjoyed it. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. You know, my first question is, throughout the show, you guys use, like, clips of various classic films. Um, can you talk about what you feel that adds to the narrative and what you wanted to accomplish with that element of the show? When we had the scripts, um, they were a throwback to film noir, and Mark is a cinephile who talked a lot about classic films and how Sugar made sense of the world through movies. And so we talked about those influences, and by the time Post came around, I think Fernando Morales, our um, director and his editor, Fernando Stutz, actually took that in a literal direction and added a different dimension to the show by infusing the show with film clips. We picked specific moments where we felt like it would be additive. And then we had our team kind of, you know, do a deep dive of various clips that would service those scenes. And then there was a pretty in-depth clearance process to get them as well. But I, I do think that it adds a whole other dimension to Sugar's perspective on the case and the world. Now, this next question might be pretty linked to, to your answer there, but mm. you know, for both of you, for this, specifically for this first half of the season, uh, what did you guys mm. hope to accomplish when it comes to setting the show apart from those similar PI stories that it's you know, inspired by? I think whenever um, you're working in a genre, the two opportunities I think you have to, to innovate are tone and character. Um, because ultimately, you know, no matter what the case is, it's not going to be um, so radically different from the five billion um, murder cases or mystery cases you've seen um, in television over the years, right? Um, and, and, and in the case of Sugar, I think we have a truly original character in John Sugar, uh, a detective who himself is as mysterious and, and as much the mystery of the show as the case is, um, which I don't really think I've seen before. And then also... Uh, a guy who combines this classic leading man, square jawed, 1940s, 50s vibe with something really modern in his sensitivity and his kindness, his chival chivalrousness, um, and, uh, and, and just softness. And that combination of being hard boiled, but also emotionally soft um, is something I've just never seen. And that is the vibe of the show too. It is this combination of old school and very uh, modern.